welcome back to Incredible Inverse and other animals with me, Phil. And today's video is going to be an unboxing from the spider shop. So let's go ahead and take a look at what I got. Okay, so here we go with the unboxing from the spider shop. So I've taken off uh, my delivery information, but here we go. So uh, you can see the uh, packing peanuts as always. No heat packing this, it was perfectly warm enough overnight, so it's not needed. And not double box again, not really needed uh, when it's uh, warm, so during, during sort of uh, late spring, uh, summer, some kind of summer weather here in the UK at the moment, it's been fairly warm. So just over this, so this is, is stuff I, I have ordered. Now there was a little bit of an issue with one of the things that I ordered, it wasn't quite there, so we've got something there. Basically kind of replace in here as well, so... Let's go ahead and so first off we have here a adult female Mesonorhinus aquata in Macrophilius. So I did order a pair of these. Uh, unfortunately when it came to packing them, um, they actually found that all the males had actually passed away. So, but they had all done their job and have been meeting with the females. So they rang me up, uh, basically saying what did they, you know, did I want, still want a female or maybe a couple of females or perhaps one female and then perhaps something else. And so, so I went with one female uh, for now. Sort of things there we go, and then chose uh, then replace uh, them out with a pair of Dorcas uh, Alclides. <laughs> uh, so these are a stag So, in here is the female. <laughs> uh, so, she's uh, down in there, just gonna have a quick look just to make sure she's right. There she is. So, yeah, look absolutely fine. Just make sure these guys kind of really, really stay still sometimes. But yeah, no, she's absolutely fine. And then we'll have a look around to see if we can find a male for her. So that is someone else. So we'll go through that in a little bit. Something else I ordered. So we'll find the uh, I say we'll find the male to go with the female uh, Dorcas. So here it is. So, so these guys have a uh, their so they have some pretty uh, good size sort of antlers on them. So, right. So get this open there, and there he is. He's looking good. Okay, we'll have a closer look at these uh, and go when it comes to sort of housing them up. And then the uh, last thing we ordered was uh, a pair of these guys here, which is a pair of Calcosoma Atlas. No, the Atlas Beetle, so getting the female in this one. So, and then the uh, the male in the larger type, so there she is. Looking absolutely fantastic. So, so yeah, hopefully uh, I will be breeding these. I, uh, I got the Calcosoma Cacoscus, the larger species last year from Spy Shop at the BTS. Here's the male Atlas. Uh, very, so, both similar species, and I've bred the uh, Cacoscus. I've got seven larvae that are all growing on nicely. So, uh, I fancied uh, giving the, the Atlas a go as well. I absolutely love the Calcosoma genus. Uh, they look fantastic. And I'm just having a quick look just to make sure there's nothing else in there, just in case there shouldn't be, but, and there isn't. So, it is then basically a laying tub that I've just set up for the female Mesonorina Tequata in my coleus. So sub, the substrate is actually a MK Exotics um, grub stem. So uh, do go into the down description, this Ryan link and uh, discount code for MK Exotics. They're just going to get her out and then uh, the leaf a little that just come with, I'm going to just put this on top of the substrate in there because that'll be all good for her. Bit of banana for her to eat. Thing, and hopefully uh, she'll uh, lay plenty, plenty of eggs. And here's a closer look at her. Isn't she absolutely stunning? She's gorgeous and she's going to have a nice uh, meal of some banana. Fantastic. So here's the type I've done. So pretty much very similar sort of thing. Same sort of for Dorcas. What I've done differently though is at the bottom I've compressed uh, the substrate. So I've added some more wood and there's a uh, some basically a little log uh, buried underneath there as well for the female have to hopefully lay eggs into so this is the female isn't she absolutely gorgeous absolutely stunning um the dorcas stag bills are a fantastic species or a fantastic genus uh of stag bills they get a decent size especially the males they get quite quite beefy on them sort of thing so that's the female so here is the male let's get him out and have a closer look at him so i'm gonna pull out the paper and there he is absolutely magnificent Absolutely stunning beetle, massive, massive heads on the Dorcas. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, hopefully uh, he will uh, sort of do his business well, mate with the female, and then she'll bury herself. And uh, 
hopefully lay, like I say, hopefully lay lots and lots of eggs for me. I'll hatch out. So here you can see the size difference between the male and the female. And what some people do with some uh, stags is actually tie these sort of antlers together on the males uh, for some species. And some some uh, stag males can sometimes be a little bit aggressive with the females. No, um, but these guys, uh, in my experience, uh, aren't always too bad. So here they are, little comparison next to each other, absolutely stunning. Again, a little bit of banana for them to eat. No. And then here we've got a much larger tub for the Atlas, the Calcosoma Atlas. But again, substrate is mainly of uh, the MK Exotic Grub Stem. I'm really, really liking this substrate. And uh, it's absolutely perfect uh, for many, many species of uh, sort of fruit eating beetle, whether it be fruit beetles, the uh, Satona days, rhino beetles as well. You can add things, other things to it, you know, if you need more wood, add some more wood. If you need more leaves, add more leaves. So I'm just picking up the paper uh, from this, from the female. So it's the only thing when uh, shipping uh, bills like this, they do rip up the paper quite a lot, unfortunately. So it can create a bit of a mess sometimes. So, this, you yeah, know, I'm trying to encourage her to come out without having me having to take out all the paper. Uh, but initially, she wasn't really having it. I think she was like, no, I'm quite happy here, thank you. Sort of thing. Um, so, yeah, just, again, trying to encourage her. I don't want too much of the paper going into the uh, into the enclosure, really. So, again, taking little bits because it's just absolutely shredded. So that's what they do. So, eventually, she does. Uh, she does come out eventually. Again, getting rid of more paper and then I'm able just to again just sort of try and encourage her to actually walk forward even if you you know even trying to get her on just on my hand a bit they do grip on quite well there we go and I just didn't want all that paper and all the uh, the sawdust going in there because the sawdust is not fermented sawdust so it's not much good for them so and then I just to try and get her off off my hand onto the cork bark but these guys do grip on really, really well sometimes. They so can sometimes be a bit of a challenge, but there she is, she's in. And next up, we're going to get the male. The male's in a much larger tub. There's a lot of paper in here as well, as well as uh, obviously quite a lot of uh, sawdust. So, which again, I don't really want that getting in the enclosure. Thing, so just try and take that out as much as I can. I kind of think realized that actually I was going to end up dropping bits in the enclosure, so I did take it away just to uh, kind of really take out as much as I can over the sort of a, 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 a bucket um, where uh, it, it's not going to be a problem. Sort of thing. So that's what I'm doing now. Is it's just uh, away again, uh, rid of all that sawdust and paper into a bucket, and then here I am with the big boy himself. Look at him. Absolutely stunning. Sort of thing. That's it. I love the couple of as always have done for a number of years. Uh, again, you can see a size difference between the male and the female. The males are much, much, much shinier. Obviously, with the horns as well, which males use for fighting with each other, of course. And I uh, as I hopefully these guys will breed for me. Now, their larvae do take a while to, to rear up. But, so, um, but that's all part of the, the fun and games and the challenge of, uh, of beetle keeping and beetle rearing. That's my order from Spider Shop. Okay, guys, so that was my unboxing from the Spider Shop of the order I placed for some beetles. What do you guys think? Aren't they absolutely amazing? Uh, now, hopefully, the Atlas beetles uh, will breed for me. Uh, well, hopefully, they'll all breed for me. Kind of thing. Um, and I'll get some larvae. I've got larvae of a very similar species that I got from Spider Shop at BTS last year, uh, which is the Calcasoma cocoscus. So I've got seven larvae that are still growing. They do take a long time uh, to mature. So, uh, so as soon as they, uh, they put Atlas, at, adult pairs of Atlas on the, uh, on the site, I was like, yep, going to have to get some, uh, some adult Atlases as well to see if I can be successful for these as well, hopefully. So, um, yeah, the Mesera uh, Tequata in Machicolius, uh, I did order a pair. Unfortunately, um, when it came to packing them, uh, Sam actually rang me up and said the males have actually all passed away now. Um, got mated females, did you want two mated females or one mated female and then perhaps a pair of stag beetles or something. So I went for the pair of stag beetles uh, to have a go with the uh, with those guys. And they are absolutely stunning. So hopefully I'll get eggs from the uh, Mr. Ryder. Um, and if not, 
I'm sure they're gonna they'll probably have larvae available at some point, which uh, I might be tempted with. So and hopefully, yeah, with the uh, the stags at all, so uh, hopefully, uh, breeders I don't tend to do stag beetles too much. Um, but you know, Dorcas are one of the easier kind of ones to do. I've I've uh, bred a couple of Dorcas uh, before in the past, so hopefully I can do it again with these guys. Uh, but what do you guys think? If you uh, did like this video, uh, do give it a thumbs up. Pop some comments down below. If you haven't yet, please do consider subscribing to the channel and hitting that bell for notifications so you know next time I upload another video. You can also become a channel member if that interests you. Or if you go down into the description, you'll find links to things like Patreon if it interests you. I've got a merch store down there where you can buy various merch from, obviously. So there's an affiliate link for the Spider Shop so you can do all your shopping uh, with my link and I get a little bit of a kickback at no extra cost to you guys. There's also discount codes down there for lots of MK Exotics and Antscapes, and also links for TikTok and Instagram. But until next time, guys, thank you for watching. Take care and keep rocking.